Hey YouTube, this is Geisel13 here with another Fruity Loop Studios tutorial. Um, just to get out a little free advertising, my DJ name, DJ Geist13, instead of DJ Geisel13, um, is now being featured on a multitude of websites, uh, one of them being last.fm. You can check out my music there just search the artist DJ Geist 13 and I'm also featured on Dizzler.com which is the free music uh, streaming site so I think that's pretty cool and my song should be on iTunes pretty pretty soon and that's neat as well but anyway back to the Fruity Loop Studios tutorial that I got for you this has something to do with piano roll what I'm gonna do real quick is of course you need an instrument in this case I'm using fruity keys now once you're in the piano roll I'm gonna show you a neat little thing called the uh, the chord the chord tool now this can be found in the little arrow up at the top left right next to the tools button If you click that arrow, you'll get a drop-down menu, and of course below zoom you get chord. Now this is for the people that aren't good with theory, you know, you know your notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Um, I suck at theory, but with this it really helps. Alright, so I'm gonna, like, if I wanna make a, if I wanna make, like, A major chord, click major, Right? And then all you gotta do is put an A. And what that does when you play it back, I don't have speaker audio for you right now, but um what it'll sound like it's just a nice little nice little A chord. Now the chord tool has I don't know, fifty something chords that you can use. Your basic ones, major um minor try six seven um goes all the way down to minor major thirteen I don't even know what I don't even know what that is um but also it has scales now this is another thing uh if you write if you want to write in a certain key um this scale tool actually comes in comes in pretty good handy when you want to write in let's say C major click the scale right then you type in a C and it'll write out all the notes in the C major scale now if you just leave it on the first measure as kind of a reference you know which notes not to use which would be the blank spots and know which notes to use which would be these spots. Now let's say you want to write a crazy trance song in C major bebop. I don't even, that's some jazz shit. And there you go, there's the notes you can use, you know, you got all them right there. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, gets the job done. But, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the chord tool, the chord helper in the piano roll. Arrow, top left, chord, pick the chord. If you want a, if you want a certain scale, um, or to use that scale as a guide to write a song in a certain key. Uh, there you go. It's all right there. Now, this one key thing also. Let's say all right, I have a I have a major chord selected. Every time you every time you write, it'll it'll put that chord somewhere. Now, if you want to get rid of it, it's Shift N. As soon as you press Shift N, you're back to regular notes. Um, but there isn't a shortcut for getting the chord back again. You'd need 
to physically click it. Alright, that's all. This is Geisel13, another Fruity Loops Studios tutorial, and I just showed you how to use the chord tool. Thanks, and have a good one.